Coach, um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, just thank you, sir. Your opening remarks, uh, thoughts uh, heading into that one uh, round of 16. Like I said, opportunity maybe to progress to to the next round of the Nelbank Cup. Yeah, thanks, Fatwe, and uh, good afternoon to members of the media. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Should be a very interesting one. Um, a good team with the PSL experience, uh, with some very good players, with a good coach uh, who's who's got uh, extensive experience in the, this competition and in the PSL. So uh, we've got to come well prepared. Um, I got an opportunity a little bit last night to 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 clear our game and uh, check our performance against SuperSport. And, and also check uh, their last game, um, but a lot more games were loaded on my, on my laptop that's got five passwords. And, 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 and so I'll, 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 I'll go into that a little bit later today. I thought you were, you were about to say you've forgotten uh, one of your passwords. You can't, you can't, you can't. Uh... No, a lot of all all the staff members have my passwords. So. Oh. <laughs> I share, I share, I share. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll take the first question. Is your hand up? Okay, can we just get a microphone from Tomo Sisi? Mazo, that will be next. Greetings, coach. Tomo. It's not about Champions League. Coach. When you, I'm sure you've had a look at uh, uh, your opponent in yep. this game. Um, how different is the level, uh, the PSL of the GST Premiership and, and, and um, uh, the second tier? Uh, and how, how different is it and how difficult is it to play an opponent in, in, in that uh, particular? Uh, no, these, these games are very tough. <coughs> and. Uh, the, the, the difficulty is that everybody expects you to win. And so the, the pressure's on you and uh, you've, got to, you've got to perform on the day. And it's not easier. It's, uh, you've got to prepare mentally, you've got to be in the right space. And the players have got to get into the expectation and of, of the right performance level, you know. And if we can perform to that level, I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, good team, as I said, Maritzburg, we're a good coach. Uh, and and some very very good players who have, who have PSL experience and you know the club the club is a club that that knows the runnings of the league they've got uh, a history of doing well in in cup competitions too and so we've got to we've got to make sure that we are ready mentally more than anything else. And Zako, um, uh, sure, Zako. How's it? All right, to you. Good, thank you. Um, uh, the national team head coach Hugo Bruce, uh, speaks uh, very glowingly of uh, Uthel Mazwani. Yeah. And has often said that you know he has struggled to find a player to to replace him. Um, he seems to have found that uh, potential replacement. Uh, you also spoke last night about how he connects you guys. So I just wanted to know: is that process underway at Mamelodi Sundowns now? You are just also to find a Uthel Mazwani replacement because of how special he is. Can't, you can't replace. Uh, uh, one of the greats of South African football, who, who just so happens to be a family member, he always says to me, your biggest mistake is you put Tebas on the bench. Every time when, the, when Sanders doesn't play well, I get that message. Your biggest mistake, and so, uh, when you when you speak of a man who's unearthed some of the greatest football players in this history in the in the country's history and who was one of the greatest also, and Dr. Jomasono always tells me he says to me, you you can't replace uh, Tembazwane. You just you, you you can't. He's a he's a generational talent, and um, and a good person, a very very good. You saw yesterday when we took him off. Uh, he doesn't whinge, he doesn't whine. You get this thing sometimes with players who who, who, who are at a certain level. Tamazwana comes running off the pitch. You know, you watch yesterday when he was substituted. He's not dragging his feet. Or, uh, and, and, that, and that, for me, is already an indication of how, how great he is. You know, when you, when you even... 
when you even undermine your greatness, you know, Mshishi has that. Mshishi actually doesn't even, he doesn't even know how good he really is. Uh, and and uh, you, the, these type of, these type of players, you, it's very difficult. It's you, 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 it, it will be another 10, 15 years until you find someone that, that, that will play and maybe surpass Mshishi's level. Uh, so I, I'm not even going to attempt to replace Mshishi because it's, gonna, it's, it's impossible. Mazola? Thanks, um, Martin. Coach? Sure, Mazola. Coach Siema, Coach Jose Biero, and uh, I think Coach Sia said the same thing about Facing lower opposition is difficult. You sometimes have to go <coughs> personally to go watch. Uh, you know, sundowns are very sure. dangerous to having to find information in the yeah. continent. Has, has it, how have you found it with Manitbek? Because since they dropped to the lower division, I suppose information could be a little bit uh, you know, discussed. Yeah. No, fortunately, there's uh, and and you you got to also give credit to. To the, the 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 PSL really because uh, they we're getting a bit more coverage of uh, the first division and uh, their latest game was on TV. In fact, I was just speaking to Deco outside because he was actually doing the commentary of that game he covered. And I was look, listening to some of his comments and I asked him about one or two things because he saw the game live. And so just as I was walking in, I asked him about one or two things that he mentioned while he was doing the game. So uh, fortunately, we do have access to that. And then I've got to give a lot of credit to the technical team uh, that we have, particularly our analysis department, uh, headed by uh, Gulam. And um, we've got Dale, who's uh, on field, on, on site, a position analyst, and he does incredible work for us where he covers a lot of the opponents um, so so he's done that and and as i said today he they loaded quite a bit of information on my on my things so let's we'll spend a bit of time today uh, and tomorrow um, trying to prepare and see exactly how they set up and and the difficulty also is that you know sometimes you prepare for a certain way of playing and then they come in the cup games when they play a team like Sundowns and they change completely, you know. The first thing is uh, the rules in the in the NFT do not allow for all your senior players to play. You've got to have a certain number of, of youngsters in your team at a certain point. But when you play the cup game, you can play all your senior players. And so already that is one of the biggest things that you've got to take into consideration. Uh, and so proper profiling and, and, and uh, analysis of, of the squad and the depth of the squad and the players and, who, and, and even the players that don't regularly feature. Uh, for an example, like a La Masia, for an example, we had to even check where uh, they have a player like Virgil Fries who hasn't been playing. They had Siabo Mazulu who, who was not playing in the previous round. But we had to do analysis on them to say in case they, they are in the starting lineup. Uh, but let's 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 uh, let's continue with the work there's got there's just quite a bit of work to do when you when you do it at that level and that depth and that's the most complicated part particularly against uh, when you play against uh, nft opponents before my classic, let's just check do we have maybe questions from the extra strong section <laughs> 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 you have any, any hands? Let's not forget about them. The, the back. Okay. Masati, you can go. I'm coach. Sure, Masati. I know um, it doesn't in any way represent a crisis, uh, the issue of potential, uh, the, the, the lack of goals. Um, you know, I mean, you know, having watched them, you know, most of the matches, he does make a contribution on the field, on and off the ball and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, his currency is goals. Sure. And uh, they have not been coming. Uh, is that something that maybe leaves you sometimes in your head, asking yourself, you know, what, what, what can I do? I will be creative with entertaining and those kinds of things. Uh, I would lie to you if I said it doesn't worry me. Uh, I'm trying for him not to see that it worries me. Um, I speak to him quite a, a lot. Uh, we spoke today just before I left training. In fact, we had a session today and uh, a lot of it was focused on the final third <clears throat> and funny he was just he was banging goals in uh, and with his left foot 
And I said to, to him, is this the return of Peter Shalulile? He, he looked at me and I said, no, no, it's uh, the return of the left foot. So I'm hoping that um, he continues like this. We, <clears throat> we do a bit of work for him. Uh, and as I said, uh, even before, what I like is for all the players, you know, the, they have to make a contribution because our game is, is, is a little bit more detailed than just putting the ball into the back of the net for the strikers. You know, there's, a, there's so much work that they have to do in and out of possession. And uh, as long as I still see that, you know, I, 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 I'm very happy. And I know the goals will come for sure. The, every single striker you go from Benzema to Cristiano to, to Hallard. I mean, uh, I watched, um, no, no, it wasn't the, was it the Liverpool game where he missed with, uh, with the left foot and an easy cross. Yeah, he tried to place it, he could have headed it. I don't know what game it was. I watched so much of Man City, but anyway. It was that, uh, yes, was it was it the Manchester yeah. derby. Yeah, against Man United. Yeah, 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 exactly. And he missed, but he scored after that. You know, he scored an even more difficult one after that. So strikers go through these situations and you've just got to support them. And fortunately, he's also got good teammates around him, you know. And these teammates uh, support him and help him and, and he'll be fine. He's, uh, he's a good person also and um, he'll be fine. All right, let's move on the mic to Temba Shabalala. TT. Josie. Oh, I forgot. Temba Shabalala. Josie. Thank you. Luckily, that line does not have any password. One, two, three, five. Coach, I just need to find out, out of curiosity, the juggling that comes out from your side and your technical team. You play um, Kev Champions League, you know, a big club. You come to your peers within the PSL, if I may use the term, and then you go down to the net bank where there's a, an NFT club. Just take us through your planning process as to prioritization of all these matches. As you've already said, that winning is a culture at Sundowns. How do you get it right and how do you instill that to the players? that they get to um, take all the matches the same? Do they take them all the same or they prioritize them according to the level of the matches? No, uh, Titi is... Um, we have to. We, we don't have a choice because when, when you draw a game at Sundance, it's a it's national catastrophe. But the reality is that if you, if you, if I said to them today, I said, I'm, I'm not happy with the result yesterday, for sure. But when I look at the result uh, in isolation, I, I get emotional. But, but when I look at the performance and I watch the game without any sort of like connotations, uh, and I'm happy, you know, I'm happy with the performance, I'm happy with the application, I'm happy with the effort, I'm happy with the, with the, the brotherhood. There are certain things that you get to you get to see in your team, and the, 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 these are things I didn't see against Chipa. We won the game, but there were things that I didn't see. Uh, and so when I see these things, I, I I'm, I'm in a better space, you know. And uh, so we just have to continue with this thing and have the same mentality because the games are tough. Every single game for Sundowns is tough, uh, and we have to win every single game. So. We have to prepare in that way. We have to, every single player has to be ready. We need everybody. Now is the time where everybody needs to raise their hand and say, "I am part of this team, and I make a unique but special contribution to to Mamelodi Sundowns." And, and um, it's another game where we have to not only just win but also perform well and 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 make sure that we we get a good result. It's, it's very difficult in South Africa because sometimes in South Africa people say, no, you're winning, but still people are unhappy. They say, you're not playing well. And then when you, when you play well and you don't win, people say, no, but you've got to win, you know? <clears throat> and sometimes it's, uh, you ask yourself in South Africa, what, what is the, you know, what's, what's more important, the result or the, the, the style? When we, when we lost in the semifinals of the Champions League, when a lot of people were saying to me, this is the best performing team on the continent. Uh, even a lot of people in South Africa were saying, no, but you've got to change the style of play because 
you should play a little bit like uh, the North Africans and, 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 and put style aside and run for the result. And I said, no, no chance. And, and, and now we, we're trying to move in a space where we are, we are playing well. Can we play better? For sure. Some, some games better than others, but we can play better. In every single game, we can, there's certain things we can improve, but we're also winning, you know, and uh, that's, that's why I, I always say that this group of players doesn't get the, the credit that they, they really, really deserve because uh, today I see them and they come in and I look at their eyes, I look at their body language and they still, they still want more. They still want to play the next game. They still want to win the next game. They, they've got an appetite. And, and I always say to you guys that the moment I don't see that in their eyes is the moment I know it's chai, you know, it's finished for me. But, chai. yeah, it's chai. But I say that to them and they laugh also. But, but every single day I come to work, I see, I see, I look at their eyes, I, I, I look at, they, they've got an appetite, you know, they want to play better, they want to do better, they want to listen to the coach, they want to they wanna watch more video sessions, you know, even, even sometimes they are the ones that, that actually ask me to have, oh, can you show me this? Can you, can we do this? I've got times uh, and they come with their corrections. Can you spend some time with me? And, 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 and that, that is really, really what I, I enjoy about my job more than anything else. All right, uh, we, are you covered, Mr. <coughs> you want the mic? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So that will be the last question. <coughs> Save the best for last. <laughs> yes, Coach, just two Tell good me. questions. Um, another one is a, just a working story. I just asked it to um, Coach Jose earlier on. Um, and, and I understand fully that um, you are big clubs operating on a different model. Um, you will not expect um, how you introduce um, youth, youth players like uh, Super Sport or Stellan Bosch. Um, but I noticed something. It was your first uh, full season as a head coach uh, last season. Towards the end, you were introducing a number of young players, but we don't see them um, anymore. Is, is, is this maybe um, how you are looking at uh, introducing them? Maybe you make sure that you finish the business of the league early so that you don't have pressure results and uh, you introduce them like that. And maybe what is the plan with them, some of them? Um, load them out. Um, my, my question is born out of uh, Coach Yugo Bros complimenting um, you guys as PSL coaches uh, in terms of the introduction of youthful players and how um, we, we've been seeing them. And just a quick one again. You look around uh, the reactions on the continent on this draw. Everyone wanted to avoid um, sundowns. In terms of the mentality, how is the approach? Um, knowing how they are looking at you, but also uh, keeping your players grounded because you still have uh, these two or three stages to go through and get your second set. You sneaked it in there. <laughs> but uh, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. <coughs> um, you, know, you, you know, yesterday I was watching, uh, after the game, I watched uh, Porto versus uh, Arsenal. And I was amazed at uh, Pepe's level, amazed. And I, and, I, and I sat back and I said, you know, I don't think we actually understand the amount of, of uh, sacrifice, uh, commitment, uh, lifestyle changes, diet, nutrition, recovery, rest, that it takes for, for the older players to still be able to make. We make, we make. we make a lot about the younger ones you know, the younger ones. But when you look at a player like Dennis Onyango, for an example, to still, the other day we had a small-sided game and Dennis was making saves like a 15-year-old. I said, even after training, I said, guys, did you see, the, I asked the players, I said, did you see Dennis's level? They said, yeah, 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 we saw. And really, really, the amount of work that it has to, he has to do on his body, for him to still be at that type of level is incredible. And even probably more so than uh, Mabena at 17, 18, you know? And I don't think a lot of credit is given to the elder statesmen or the older players who are still going and still pushing and still maintaining a high competitive level 
in professional football. I don't think a lot of credit is, and that's just generally maybe. And, and this I picked up when I was, I was watching even last night. I, I looked, I said, Pepe marshals that defense like, like he's, just, he's just come into professional football. But this guy played for, for Real Madrid. He's probably played two or three World Cups. Uh, he, he's playing in the Champions League game against Arsenal for Porto. And he's, 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 he's keeping uh, the line, he's, he's, he's aggressive in the tackles and the duels, both in the air and the ground. And he's, 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 he's so good. He looks like a player that could easily play for Manchester City still and still play for Real Madrid and at that level. The other day, uh, Real Madrid actually was playing against uh, Sevilla. And you saw the level of, of uh, Modric. And incredible. You saw the level of, uh, on the other side, Ramos. And you're saying to yourself, why should these, these older players actually get a little bit uh, or less uh, credit for maintaining their level and pushing to that level and still maintaining the game intensity, even when the game is going so quickly? And yet we, we make a big noise about, oh, give the youngsters a chance. But what about the guys that you, you still support when they are 36, 37, when a lot of people write them off? Do you know what I mean? And when they can still perform, when they can still perform, why not give them credit? So I, 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 I'm always looking at things differently, and, and that's why maybe I'm, 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 I'm yeah, it's, it's a nice term Mourinho use. I'm not one of the bottle also, but that's because maybe I don't look at things the same as everybody else, because I still think that for Tampa's wanted to be playing at the level that he's playing, he's, he needs so much credit. You know, uh, Bernard Parker, he, to be still going at the level that he's going, you watch Bernard Parker's performances even before he got injured, and you're like, my goodness, he looks like he's, he can go on for another three, four years. You know, so um, as much as I, I love giving youngsters an opportunity, but they've also got to earn their strides. And, and sometimes even, I think in South Africa, we, we rush them too quickly because we... We hype them, you know, there's, there's this thing I always share with you guys and I share it with my players also. It's, it's called the curse of the, right, the shooting star, you know. You know, a shooting star, they say, when you see it, you must, you must make a wish before it disappears. You know, and everybody marvels at it, and then, but immediately after that, it, it disappears. And even there's some youngsters that I've, 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 five years ago, I said to myself, but I expect something from this player. You know, I don't. I don't want to mention names because they. I don't, they some of them don't play for Sundowns and they're not my players. But I, I recently I've been watching them. Some of them are overweight. Some of them haven't fulfilled their potential. And you're like, what happened here? You know. And and South Africa has this. And that's why I'm so. I'm so careful when I deal with a talent like Sipombule, because I've seen it so many times in South Africa where you lose these special players. You know because because. Uh, it's not easy, and it's really, really not easy. You just throw them in, they, everybody talks about them, everybody greets them. Imagine you say, you've got a salary that is more than your parents. Now all of a sudden you're 18. You don't listen to your parents, you know, because you're the breadwinner now. Uh, you come in at any time, you're drunk, you're, and the parents are like, I, let's not step on his toes because he, he, if we do that, you know what I mean? So it really, really, this is what the, these youngsters go through. And if you don't understand the culture and the context, it's, it's, so, it's so easy to ruin talent, you know? So I'm, I'm, so, I'm so careful when I deal with super talented individuals, so careful because I, I know it's my responsibility to, to protect, but also to channel it in the right way. And, 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 and uh, fortunately, I've, I've been in this position where I've been a youth coach and I've seen super players in, at, at young, young age groups like a Percy, and I've followed his, and I've been part of his, his career, and I watch, I see Mkulisi, uh, the late Ace Madisha. You know, these are players that were, that were with me as kids, and then I see them now, and I'm like, huh, we didn't do such a bad job, you know, because they were able to maintain their careers. And, and it's not, I, I, and this is what I say to Mabena, to Kutuano, to Tontando, to, to, to Sia. I say to them, I say, boys, you, have, you must understand one thing. The career is far more important to look after than the talent. The talent is God given. Mm -hmm. that, that, that one is God. You didn't ask for it. God, God said, here. Yeah. And by the way, 
By the way, it's a biblical principle too. To whom much is given, much is expected. So that blessing, you must understand, it's going to come with a hell of a lot of demands. And then it's to look after the career, not the talent. And you know what is to look after the career? It's your training, it's your rest, it's your finances, it's your friends, it's your social life, it's your, it's your diet, your nutrition. It's, it's, it's all these other aspects that come into, into it because it's, it's very, and then they, it's their responsibility to make sure that they do it and they do it well. And then it's our responsibility to, 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 to make sure that Temazwane is mentoring Mabena. Grant Gekane is mentoring uh, Amendi. Uh, Bongani Zungu is mentoring Emali. And, and Bongani Zungu says, no, but Mabena, you don't look like you are fresh today at training. Why, my boy? And these conversations don't need to take place in front of the coach. Do you know what I mean? So, so one of the biggest things in, in I, I think that we miss a little bit is, is mentors, you know, and, and, and role models for these young kids. And then we just throw them in and then we expect them to swim. It's very, very difficult. The, the, and then they make mistakes, you know, it broke my heart and I don't know if this is the right platform, but it broke my heart. I saw, I saw someone sent me a video of this boy who paid 500 rands. It, it really killed me. But, but because we don't have role models, we don't have mentors, we don't have, no, don't, don't speak to that. Don't, don't try to go that route. And they help. And society is crying out for this. And, and, and not just in football, but just society in general. We are so quick, so quick to, to, to allow people to fail. So quick. And, and, and we forget that everybody deserves a second chance, and maybe even a third chance, and maybe even a fourth chance. But when we, we see, ah, okay, I, money has got into his head, fame has got into his head, go deeper and find out what, what, what you could do to help. And, and yeah, anyway, but um, it will take us longer. It's something I'm very passionate about because of my background as a youth coach. And, and I, I, I love giving youngsters an opportunity. That's not, not just as players, but that's why you see even Coach Tamba Badella is with us. Because I was a young coach before and I was given a chance, you know, so Coach Michael Lofman, you know, young coaches, they, and, and maybe even better than me, you know, so Champions League, um, they are, no, difficult. Uh, I, I don't want to, my, my head is not in that space yet, Tavi, to be honest. Uh, I haven't wrapped my head around that, so uh, I know we'll have a press conference and we'll discuss that in detail, but yeah, unfortunately I don't have an answer for you on that.